Hello, and welcome to 5 Facts About Network Address Translation, a way to keep our local networks a bit more organized and private. Usually found running on gateway devices, like routers, Network Address Translation, or NAT, replaces the source IP address on a packet with another, usually a public IP address, which can be used for sending and receiving information over the internet. Keep in mind though, that despite usually found on routers, NAT is not considered part of routing. It is its own thing. There are multiple benefits for using NAT on a network. For example, in the simplest form, NAT can provide some security to devices by masking their IP addresses from prying eyes when connecting outside their local networks. NAT also makes it possible for devices on the network to share a single public address. For IPv4, which can only service just over 4 billion devices, the ability to share public addresses has become essential for our ever-growing need to be connected. The simplest form of NAT is a one-to-one -one translation, where an external IP address replaces a single internal address. This is NAT at its core, but it lacks flexibility. If there are multiple devices on a local network, each device will have to wait its turn to connect to the outside. It is easy to see the limitations this will have for modern networks. Dynamic NAT fixes the prior shortcoming to an extent. Instead of having just one public IP address for a network, Dynamic NAT offers a block of addresses. Addresses are still translated on a one-to-one -one basis, but now with a pool of public addresses to choose from, multiple local devices can connect publicly at the same time. That number will be equivalent to the size of the pool. This method of using a pool of public addresses instead of just one is still a viable solution today especially for large networks. But it is also expensive and can be a bit of an overkill for smaller networks, like those in our homes. And it still does not fully solve the problem. The third form of NAT is also referred to as Port Address Translation, or PAT. If you're wondering what is a port, in this case it is just a number. Think in terms of an apartment number on a building address. With Port Address Translation, a device's IP address is not simply translated to a public address. It is also linked to a port number and is stored for the duration of the connection. This is what it looks like. An outgoing packet's address is translated to a public address and a port number is attached to identify which local device the packet originated from. When there is a reply, the port number will be used to determine where on the local network to send the reply. Once again, think in terms of an apartment number on a building address. With just the addition of that number, multiple residents can use the same building address to send and receive mail. And so, with PAD, multiple local devices can use the same public address to connect to the internet. So there it is, 5 facts about network address translation. Do you have a question or fact you would like to add? Leave a comment. And if you like the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you're not. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.